Hey guys, just a quick notice and little tip video here. For those Harmony Elite owners, we just got new firmware and it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna show you how to do it here. I'll show you the bug list that they gave us and then talk about at least one of the things they didn't document. So to initiate the upgrade, there are a number of ways to do it. One way is through the remote, click the little settings cog, go to settings, and then scroll down to sync. And if the upgrade is available, it will show. Now, if you wait long enough, it will automatically push down to your account and you'll see the red light on the hub start to blink. And the next time you pick up the remote, it'll start or at least ask you to start the upgrade. That takes a while longer, though, to get to your system. Another way is to plug your remote via USB into a computer and use the desktop software. This little plug here comes off on the end. There's your USB jack. Just had an argument with a guy that didn't know about that, and he insisted these don't plug in. <laughs> By the way, the desktop app also has features to customize things that you can only do in the desktop app, such as custom backgrounds and icons. You can see I've got like a little artistic background on there rather than just a plain color, and I uploaded those custom icons that you can download from various websites, all kinds of stuff you can put in there and change around only with the desktop app when you plug it in. Here's the way I prefer to do it. Launch the app on your phone or tablet, click the hamburger menu in the corner, go to Harmony Setup, and click Sync. If anything is available, it'll show here, automatically do your hub and remote at the same time. Here are the release notes, and these are the only bug fixes they actually call out, but there are things that they haven't listed that they also fixed. One of which I'm very excited for is the responsiveness and sensitivity of the touchscreen. Prior to this update, sometimes you would have to almost double tap a button. You'd have to hold it for a half second or longer than you would think. Sometimes it would flash and it wouldn't actually register the command, especially switching between activities. Now, everything works perfectly. Just starting up this here, and it's not only more fluid to scroll, in all directions, but just a normal tap now registers. It's just like a phone, just like the way it's supposed to be. So to all those that have been saying, oh, Harmony's dead. They're not gonna ever do anything else for us. Here we are over a year later since they stopped selling it. They're still adding devices to the database and still fixing bugs and still giving us cool new firmware for the remotes. That's it, see you next time.